thought for fun I would show you a little bit about my art studio, or at least part of it. I've been working on a commission for a watercolor painting, and it it's a big one. I can't show it to you because it's a commission, and it, therefore it belongs to someone else. But here's some of the things I have uh, on my desk. And generally in this area here, this is where I would have my the whole um, big watercolor sheet, but instead I've just put this here. So I'm going to put this away because I need to get out everything I need for making my glue book video. Hello and thank you for coming to my channel. Today is a beautiful sunny day. It's actually warmed up and I'm loving it. I went out for a walk even though I have one sore foot but one must proceed today i thought instead of working on this glue book that i've been working on a lot lately this is the travel journal size and i've done a lot of pages in that i thought i would uh, just as a departure do some more pages in this little vintage book that i found at a, a little antique store locally i've only done a few pages in it and because I still have my watercolors out, I thought I would do a little bit of watercoloring on this beautiful paper because it's very heavy and soft and it's it's kind of fun to um, just experiment with how the paint works on it. And I'm going to show you some really, really simple little designs that you can do with any kind of watercolor paint and just a brush. Anybody can do it, no talent required. And I urge you to give it a try. Like if you're scared of watercolors, just don't be, it's just paint. If you don't like what happens, tear the page out, start again, whatever. So let's get started. So before I get started on this little book, I thought I would show you somewhere where you can get pictures to cut out and use for your projects. I was cleaning out some drawers the other day and I came across these things that I saved. So I've already cut a bunch of them out, but these are old calendars. And I, of course I bought them because I love the watercolor artwork on them. And they're different, they're done by different artists. So you get a little bit of variety. And, and I've just gone through them and cut out things like this, or, you know, there's everyone has little something, and then there's all these borders with the scallops on them, and you can tell I went to the dentist in 19 whatever it was or 2011, and I kind of forgotten I had them. So when I found them, I thought, oh, I should throw these out. But then I went, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And various artists, as I said, this is Susan Branch, and. You know she's always got lots of fun stuff so even just little things like this or you know a word and all these things that you can cut out and so I went ahead and started on that and here's some of the results some of them are, are big from the other calendar that I I was working on but you never you never know Someday I might do, you know, a 12 by 12 glue book. And then I've got pieces that will fit. And then I, I took um, this one, which was by Dina, Dina Designs. And I'm going to do some more cutting on that. But I cut out these as borders and things like that. So I think I'll probably use a few. I'm, I might use a few today. And I might not. Um, well, let's just see. But here's how they kind of start out. So you could... You could cut out this, or you could just cut out this. And same with this. You know, you can cut these out separately, or, you know, whatever. Whatever appeals to you. So there's an idea for you. If you buy calendars with beautiful pictures or whatever, once the month is over or the year is over, you can cut them out and use them for your glue books or your journals. Now, for this one, I actually don't have a plan yet. So, and this book is funny, it's called The Islanders, but it's actually about the state of shipping in 1920s, because the book is from 1926. 
So there's a couple of pages that I did before and then I skipped some and there's a couple more and then did I do any more? Sometimes I skip through a book like this because you want to know how thick it's going to be and you're going to have to take pages out because you keep adding things in and you won't be able to close it. So um, I'll do pages in different places and this one I actually did a little bit of watercolor on there as you can see and then just some odds and ends of um, little pieces of ephemera and stickers and whatnot which are fun. Um, a child at some point got hold of this one. Now, now this book too something that you might want to try is and this is what I've done on this one you can take out these pages in the middle of the signature and a signature is the group of papers that are folded together and sewn into the binding. So if you can find the center like this, then you can just pull this out along that thread in the middle that sews the signature together like this. No, I didn't want that to tear. Come on, cooperate. Look at that. Just making a mess of it here. Where is a knife? This is the other way to do it so that you don't tear all the paper. There. Just slip that out of there. And then you can use this these pieces for backgrounds or whatever you want. This has come from Bronx Park School. Ville La Salle. No idea where that is. Anyway, there's a tip for you. So I'm going to work on these pages, these pages, because the other ones I've done are sort of throughout the book, and gradually I'll replace pages with with glue book things. Okay, so to begin with, a paintbrush. I'll use this set of watercolors. And you can see the colors I've been working on. I have no plan whatsoever, but uh, I think maybe I will start with purple flower. So to do that, I'm just going to do like that. Aha, this has a little bit of resistance to it where the ink is. That's all right. So to make a flower, all you do is lay the brush down and pull it along like that. Pick up some paint, do it again. And I do them across from each other usually so that I can keep it looking straight. And let's do another one down here. This is quite funny how the ink is resisting the color not left-handed so I'm not really very proficient with my left hand but I didn't want my hand to get in the way too much. So I'll just do this and do this. It's quite waxy that stuff which is kind of cool because then you can still read it through some of them. Now then I'm going to wash this brush out and I want to go with, um, well, let's do this one, which is, let me read this, Quinacridone Rose, which is a nice bright pink. And I'm going to use the same kind of flower on here. Again, simple to do. And you can use um, kids' school paints, you can use acrylic paint, you can use whatever you want. Uh, let me see, let's put it here. The less paint that's on the brush, the more the background shows through. So like I said, that is a bit cool. So we finally had sunshine today, as you saw in the introduction to the video. And that might not mean anything to some people. For example, I have a friend who lives in Florida. And last week we were talking on Skype. And 
she said, you're going to hate me for this, but it's 87 degrees and we swam for an hour in our pool yesterday or the same day. And I'm like, okay, well, I realize that you're not responsible for your weather. I'm going to use some of this bright green. Uh, but it snowed here yesterday. So I'm just going to put in some little leaf bits like this. It didn't snow here yesterday. It snowed. It was yesterday from when I was talking to her. But yesterday it was, it was so cloudy and, and wet and whatever, which is not unusual for winter here. And then I thought, okay, I've got to go to the library. I will go at four o'clock. So I got ready to go and the sky uh, absolutely opened up. It rained. Yellow centers, which most flowers have. Um, notice that I haven't, I've let most of this dry. Um, the part, I'm not touching it to the part that's wet because it'll bleed into it immediately. So I'm trying to stay away from that and just put it the cut this color next to the um, driest parts there we go maybe a little bit more here so that it's starting to rain like big drops the kind that really soak you and then uh it poured so it just like bucketing down and then it hailed like mad and then the hail stopped and it just went back to raining and then it poured and then it really hailed and then it stopped just like somebody turned off the switch. It was amazing and funny, actually. So I didn't really trust it, obviously, but the sky was clearing. So uh, I waited till there was a little bit of trust uh, able. I, I was able to trust it just, to, just slightly. See how easy that is? And then, actually, I think what I'm going to do with this little brush is, oh, I didn't want that color. I want this color, which is called sap green. This is permanent yellow green. Um, anyway, once I thought I could trust it, off I went, carrying my umbrella because obviously I didn't trust it that much. So here's my little border. Which is, um, you know, as easy as it could possibly be. So might as well do it down here too. Now a lot of this might get covered up depending on what I do. But but there's something anyway. So that's how you paint. Well, it's not the only way you can paint on old book pages, but it's kind of a fun way to do it. So I'm going to move this out of the way now. This has to dry. Now, if I'm in a real hurry, I have this unit, which is one of those things you attach a hair, a hair curler thing to with a brush. It's sort of a combination blow dryer brush hair curler which it never really worked for me my hair doesn't want to work with it so I thought oh and I was going to go out and buy a heat gun and then I thought hold on a minute I have this hair unit that never really works however anyway there's that's still a little bit damp but I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and let those little blobs dry and get out some pieces here to go along with that. Um, let me see. Let's put it over here so you can see it. Might as well just get this out because it's, um, these make great little fillers on a page. Um, I don't know if I'll use those or not. 
All right, let's see. I'll move this so I don't put something on it and get it wet. Now, I I got a whole bunch of new uh, stickers and stuff, which I mentioned in my last video. And I've put them all in this binder, kind of rearranged everything. So I've got a lot of these little um, sort of book and letter ones, which I really like. And I, I went around them and they all had a... a sort of a flange on them that was about um, an eighth of an inch or a couple of millimeters wide and I thought I don't want that it was too too big so here are some of the new ones I got anyway I cut all that off so I'm going to just get them out here um, yeah, not all of them, but enough to give us some kind of variety. These are the cupcake ones that I did. These are on my store and my my last video about sweetness, I did those. So be sure and go and have a look at that. I might as well take these out too because they've got some really pretty stuff going on here. I don't think I'll use that iris. But... And these are actually stickers, so I don't know how much gluing I'm going to be doing, but I think there's no, there are no rules. So, you know, if you want to use stickers, go ahead. These are kind of nice. Uh, a little bit big for such a small book, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I need, I might have to start doing a bigger book again. And then I've got some flowers here. Uh, let's get a few of those out as well. And what else was I thinking of? Um, gosh, I have sore feet today. In fact, I've had sore feet all week. I don't like it. I don't know what's going on with that, but my feet suddenly got sore and I don't know. I have sort of an issue with cortisol that nobody has an answer for. And apparently there's some kind of connection with sore feet and cortisol acting up. If you know anything about that, I'd love to know. Basically, they say, you're too stressed. And I'm like, well, I can't figure out why because my life isn't really that stressful. But I think what happened was um, I was very stressed for several years. And because I was going through all kinds of stuff with family and not feeling good and all that. Look at that. It's so pretty. I might use that. Oh, look. I like this, too. A little music to go with the, with the lettering. Anyway, I think what happened with my system is that it got stuck in fight or flight. And it's still stuck. So it wakes me up in the nighttime with my heart pounding and it's extremely unpleasant. These are nice. Uh, I don't want to go, I don't want to overdo it with the flowers. That's kind of different. Ooh, I don't like those. You know what? These have skulls on them. So I'm going to fix that by coloring out their faces because I don't like that whole skull thing. It's like um, glorifying death, and I we don't need that. So there, you, there, so there. Born to lose, live to win. I'm not sure I like that one anyway. I might even just throw it away. Okay, what did I get out now? These are pretty much all stickers. I was going to do some gluey things. Well, I got these. Um, anyway, let's start with this. So I'm trying valiantly to try and figure out what is going on with my body and why it doesn't calm down. Now, I, I will say, I want to take this white off here. Uh, I will say I suffered from adrenal fatigue for several years. And then kind of got over it. And then other stuff happened, let's just say. 
just when I was kind of going, okay, now I can relax about life, another big change came along. And I think I got, my body just got stuck. And I don't know how to unstick it. So, you know, like I've had the tests, monitor things overnight, or I forget what it is. And I go to the doctor and he says, oh, you have cortisol surges at night. I'm like, I know. I know. He said, well, you should try to relax. I'm like, yeah. It's not like uh, I lead a hectic life. I work at home. I work at my own speed. I mean, I do lots of stuff, but there's no, there is no deadline. And I have uh, my sort of my modus operandi is if it includes pressure, I'm not doing it. So, you know, forget it. Anyhow, what do you do about that? Okay, which way does this music go anyway? I think it goes this way. Where they composed it? Uh, it's just scribbly. I think I'll put it maybe right here. And um, okay, I want to cover up this Bronx school thing with what? I also have these black and white ones. Um, they're they're washi stickers. I could introduce some blue. Not that piece. It doesn't work. Let's see. I love these blue sparkly ones. That is um, hydrangea. What about this? Well, kind of doesn't go because of the whole sparkly stuff bit. No, it's not, it's not singing to me. Oh, that works. But then what will I write on it, if anything? Maybe there's something in here I can decide on before I glue it down and wish I hadn't. That's not bad. Uh, Anyway, um, I need a skinny one here. It's not, it's not coming to me. Something else might work better. That one doesn't quite. Where is these big books? That one works perfectly. Okay. Anyway, I've been doing constant research. I've been to nine medical people, nine doctors, allergists, naturopaths, nine of them. Everyone's got a different idea. None of it worked. None of it made any difference. That's nice. Can I still call this a glue book if I don't use glue? Or is it just a sticker book? Or does it matter? Does anybody care? I don't. But these, they, these are so pretty because they're watercolors. And as you well know, I have kind of a thing for watercolor. I've been doing a lot of acrylic painting lately on canvases. And get this, I'll get back to my other story in a minute. Um, I went to Winners, which is like TJ Maxx, same company, the other day. Winners Home Sense, we call them here in Canada. And um, the other day, because occasionally they have canvases. I like that. The green looks good. Here comes the glue. And it's just like occasionally they have canvases. So I thought, well, I'm kind of, I need to go to that town anyway, which is a 45 minute drive from here. So I'm going to drop in and see just on the off chance. So I looked around and it was like, oh, I think I don't, I don't think they have any. Because I was looking the wrong way. And then I turned around and went back through the aisles and I found a whole aisle of big canvases. I'm so, I was so excited. 
you ever get this thing where your heart just kind of leaps up? Well, that's what happened to me. It's like, oh, angels singing. Okay, well, maybe not quite. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay, I want to cover up this Islanders thing. So I need a little bit of a... I'm not sure about that either. Something a little bit... A little bit different. I don't know. That doesn't mean anything to me anyway. Paste. Ah, orange. I don't know what that means either, but whatever. I will glue it down. Anyway, I, I bought five big canvases. My, now, my problem is I don't have room to paint big canvases. And I don't have an easel that's big enough to hold them. So I don't have a studio and I don't have an easel. However, you know when you feel called to do something and you feel like God is leading you in a certain direction, you got to get ready. Because when you're ready, like things will open up. If you're not ready, um, you know, God can't really do much if you're sitting and waiting for him to, you know, drop something out of the sky on you. That doesn't, it doesn't work like that. That looks nice. Let's try this one. Daffodil season is just about here anyway, so... Remember these washy things, you have to rub your thumb over the edge towards the front and it'll catch on, the little edge will catch. Otherwise, you can never get your nail between the backing and the, and the sticker. So that that's nice. It's almost invisible, but it's kind of special like that. There's it's like writing in the background. Um, that's really pretty. Okay, let's see. What else can we work on here? Some of these stickers are quite big. And, like, that's cool. I think I'll just use that. Just go ahead and do it. When I cut them out, I did leave a tiny edge on them just because it was too hard to, like, I'm not going to cut around all this gear and all that kind of stuff. So, about the sleep issue... I've been struggling with this whole cortisol sleep thing for several years. Oh, wait. You know what? I want to cover that up before I stick that down. So that has to have something over it first. Well, let's see if we've got anything in this little pile. That is so cute. I want to use it. I like this candlestick too. I might use it somewhere. Mm, nope. Okay, wait. I have some little ones over here. Okay, if I did that, and then put, put that over it, it's kind of a shame. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll put this on top because I don't want to cover up that rose. So I'll put this here and then that on top because this gear is like, I like the clock and the flowers but not so much the gear. I've done all kinds of research about how to how to deal with cortisol and whatnot. It's not very helpful. It's not like I'm not very relaxed about life. I've never really had that problem. However, I don't know, stuff happens. And like I said, I think my body just got stuck. And Okay, that looks a bit busy, but well, I'm okay with it. Okay, now, this looks like it would actually go really well with that. Anyway, just one last question. If you have any experience with this issue, uh, which is waking up with your heart pounding, your whole body can be feel like it's electrified, so it takes two hours, more or less, to calm your for your whole system to calm down. 
it's like it's like if somebody just really startles you like you're lying in bed sleeping and someone comes in and screams fire and pounces on you you know that kind of feeling it's very shocking to your body Okay, that's pretty. Now, um, I think I might have something little for this. There's some of my really little guys. She's fun. If you have any uh, suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. All suggestions gratefully received. That's nice because it goes with these yellows. Or there's this little feather. I think I like that better. Okay. Okay, done deal. And then, anyway, I'm glad that spring is starting to get closer because I'm not a fan of winter and I always feel so much worse in winter. And it's just like everything everything feels worse and I, it probably has a lot to do with vitamin D or lack thereof because where I live it's a it's a very rainy and cloudy all winter and like I said describing yesterday so today when the Sun came out for like most of the day I'm like well hallelujah because um, it's a rarity there I think that's nice I think it kind of works maybe I should put a little a little thing across there. I like these different little shapes. I don't like that number. It doesn't speak to me. could put that one there. Anyway, yeah, so I was really looking forward to going south this winter for even a week and it just hasn't worked out. Um, and then my daughter asked me if I would go to England with her in the summertime and I'm like I would love to but both of them have to be in your budget if you're going to do them both so mm -mm, what can you do so anyway all right okay let's put this one down because I, I think it works there unless I put a letter oh, I've got a letter here so that's that's a non-starter let's do this one Maybe I can find a place for that little that little lantern that's so cute. These tweezers are fantastic. You can buy them at craft stores. So that one goes there. And then um let's see. Yep, that'll work. I like it really busy. I always like really lots of stuff. And if you've watched my videos before, you probably already know that. So there's really no end of things you can you can put on your pages. Such a pretty watercolor. Anyway, um, I'm building up a body of work in acrylics, acrylics on canvas. Now, if you are interested in that, go to my website called wendydoerhughes.com and just scroll down and put your name on the list there and you can be notified when I've got new work. I'm, I'm about to send something out about that because I've been working on updating my website there. I don't have any prices on anything yet but if you're interested in any in purchasing any of my paintings just let me know and if you prefer to have um, a print like a paper print also let me know because uh, I'm planning to do them in paper prints as well but I haven't got to it yet so I would love it if you're interested in that just either put it in the comments below or shoot me an email from the um, the contact page these are kind of cute again more letters and papers and stuff which Gee, do you think that's something I'm kind of interested in? I like this one. It's a little tag. Oh, wait a minute. These are the ones you have to cut out, which is kind of strange. They aren't kiss cut. And you know, when it comes to cutting stuff out, I usually do it in the evening if I'm watching TV. I'll just get out my scissors and cut all, all these things out, like the 
the calendar things and whatnot. There you can still see things through it, which is nice. Now, should I put anything else on here? I'm kind of leaning towards something um, little in here. No, I don't want more of those. But, okay, I don't want another one of those. Uh, I don't really want that shape. See, when I design things, it's like, okay, am I using too much of the same shape? I want a variety. Am I using too much of the same motif? So letter, tag, letter, letter, no, too much. Okay, let's look at these. These are black and white and see-through. And hard to get back in there, but I'll try anyway. A lot of them are quite large, but there's a small one. Anyway, my, my daughter and I are planning a trip to England at the end of July, because she's going to Oxford for a course. She's a bit of a brainiac. Her course is um, medieval manuscripts, which actually sounds quite interesting. Not interesting enough for me to go, go to for, but I looked at it and thought, eh. Uh, yeah, not really. I think that one goes quite well right there. Anyway, we're going to meet afterwards. I'm going to fly over when she's finished her course. And um, we're going to stay in London and do some day trips, I think, whatever, for probably about 10 more days or 11 more days, something like that. I wish these backgrounds weren't quite so white, but oh well. On this paper, I never really thought about that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you get notified when I have a new video. And I have a question. If you've made it this far, please answer a question and put it your answer in the comment below. I'm doing my videos every second week. Would you like to have them every week rather than every second week? As I had someone ask me that the other day, can, could I do with them more often? But I'm not sure if everybody wants that or if every two weeks is nice or more is better. So please answer that question. I might put up a little poll as well. So I would like to know what you like and if you'd like to see more of these kind of things. And I think that kind of covers it for today. So I'll see you next time.